U.S. preparing for Iranian retaliatory strike, American troops face constant threat. The White House has warned of the substantial threat faced by U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria amid a stream of threats issued by Iranian leadership in response to a suspected Israeli airstrike that killed several Iranian personnel last week near its embassy in Damascus. Addressing the warnings at a virtual press briefing, National Security Council Strategic Communicators Coordinator John Kirby declined to go into specific intelligence matters, but reiterated President Joe Biden's assurance that the Israeli government could count on the United States support for any self-defense needs against threats directly by Iran to Israel, threats that Iran has made public, and discussed preparations for potential risks to U.S. personnel as well. Our own people, not just our troops, but our diplomatic personnel as well in Iraq and Syria are under constant threat, Kirby said. We take that seriously and we take the appropriate force protection measures we need to as the threat changes to make sure that they can protect themselves and that has not changed. That will not change. We're continuing to do that but we take the threat to our people in our own facility seriously, and we know that those groups, many of the groups that conduct those kind of attacks, are supported, funded, resourced by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is one of three primary branches of the Iranian Armed Forces, along with the Army, which, like the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, includes ground, naval, air and missile branches and the law enforcement force. Branded a terrorist organization by the U.S. in 2019, the IRGC and its elite Quds Force conduct operations abroad and coordinate with an international coalition of militias known as the Axis of Resistance, including in Iran and Syria. Such groups have targeted Israel and U.S. troops since the war in the Gaza Strip erupted six months ago between the Israel, the Israel Defense Forces and the Palestinian Hamas movement and Israel has targeted Iran-aligned units in Syria as part of a years-long semi-covert campaign. Putin launches three-stage Ukraine war plan. He wants to turn this country into a lifeless conflagration. President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, ordered his army to seize Ukrainian cities after their destruction. To do this, the Russians have a three-stage plan. This was reported by the Czech edition of Aktualny Spravodajsvi. Russia launched a three-stage plan to seize Ukrainian cities after their preliminary destruction, the report reads. The publication noted that the first stage is aimed at spreading panic among civilians to force them to flee. During the second phase, KAB bombs will destroy residential buildings and industrial infrastructure of Ukrainian cities. In the third stage, Russian troops will attack destroyed and abandoned cities. During March, the Russians used a record number of cabs, more than 2,300. The production of three-ton FAB-3000 bombs was also resumed. Journalists suggest that under certain conditions, Russians hypothetically can use up to 5,000 KABs per month. Such a scenario threatens Ukraine with catastrophic consequences. Millions of Ukrainians will be forced to flee to Europe, which will be on the verge of a migration crisis, the media said. Russian President Vladimir Putin is preparing the ground for the largest humanitarian catastrophe in Ukraine. Another important goal for the enemy is the destruction of Ukraine's energy infrastructure. The Russians consistently attack cities near the front of the border, Sumy, Kharkiv, Nikopol, Dnipro, Krivyiri, Mykolaiv, Odessa, because the air defense system can't intercept all the missiles fired at close range. As a result, the maximum damage is caused to the energy infrastructure of the frontline cities. It is no coincidence that after these attacks, Russian propagandists began to write amicably that Ukrainians should flee Kharkiv, the city that suffers most from Russian cabs, the newspaper wrote. The media added that the resumption of production of FAB-3000 is an extremely alarming signal since the enemy will be able to easily destroy densely populated areas, thermal power plants, logistics and factories. As the Russians advance, cab strikes will force Ukrainians to flee their settlements. Against the backdrop of international inaction, Putin wants to turn Ukraine into a lifeless conflagration, the journalists added.